Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the name of Allah, the most gracious and most merciful, the topic I'm going to present today is classification of hydrocarbons. So the question is, what are hydrocarbons? The term hydrocarbons mean organic compounds which contain only carbon and hydrogen covalently bonded. By using this definition, four classes of hydrocarbons are categorized, including alkanes, alkenes, alkynes, and aromatic. As we can see in this image, the hydrocarbons are mainly classified as open chain or closed chain. They are further classified as straight chain or branch chain, or saturated or unsaturated, or homocyclic or heterocyclic hydrocarbons. Open chain or aliphatic hydrocarbons. Hydrocarbons in which the first and the last carbon atom of the chain are not attached with each other are called open chain or aliphatic hydrocarbons. In these hydrocarbons, the chain may be straight or branch. As an example, you can see pentane, isobentane, and neupentane. In the given image, we can see the first image is of pentane, which have no branch. The second image is of isopentane, which have one branch. And the third image is of new pentane, which have two branches. Open chain hydrocarbons are further classified as saturated or unsaturated hydrocarbons. Those hydrocarbons in which all the carbon atoms are linked with other carbon atoms through a single covalent bond are called saturated hydrocarbons. As an example, we can see all the alkanes are saturated hydrocarbons while those hydrocarbons which have at least one or more double or triple covalent bond between their carbon atom and a molecule are called unsaturated hydrocarbons. If they contain a double bond, they are termed as alkenes, and if they have a triple covalent bond, they are called alkynes. As we can see in this image, in the first one, there is a single covalent bond between two adjacent carbon atoms and it is termed as alkane, while in the second image, there is a double bond between two adjacent carbon atoms and it is termed as alkene. In the third image, there is a triple covalent bond between two adjacent carbon atoms and they are called alkynes. Closed chain hydrocarbons. Closed chain hydrocarbons are in which the first and the last carbon atom of the chain are not free and they are bonded to each other. They are also called cyclic hydrocarbons, as an example, cyclobutane, cyclopentane. As we can see in this image, the first and the last carbon atom of the chain are not free and they are attached with each other, forming a chain, forming a cycle. So these are called closed chain or cyclic hydrocarbons. In cyclic hydrocarbons, if the central chain consists of only carbon atoms, then they are called homocyclic hydrocarbons. As we can see in this image, cyclopropane, cyclobutane, cyclopentane, and cyclohexane. All of these molecules have only carbon atom in the central chain of the cycle. While if the central chain of the cycle consists of one or more atoms other than carbon, such as nitrogen, sulfur, or oxygen, then they are called hydrocyclic hydrocarbons. As we can see, pyridine, pyrrole, furan, and thiophene. In homocyclic hydrocarbons, if the central chain has benzene ring in it, then it is classified as aromatic hydrocarbon. A benzene ring is a molecule of six carbon and six hydrogen atoms, which have alternate three double and single bonds. Troline and naphthalene. These molecules have a benzene ring present in them, so these are called aromatic hydrocarbons. While if the cyclic hydrocarbon doesn't have a benzene ring, then it is non-aromatic hydrocarbons. As you can see, simple cyclic hydrocarbons are non-aromatic.
that's it for the presentation thank you